what's up people what's up people what is your boy mm2k back again with another ssc podcast and of course i am not alone we are here with your other host ho- hearst no not hearst uh your other host lo-fi monk lo-fi how you doing today man hey what's up man i'm, <laughs> Look, I'm trying to put I'm a short into your, I'm, I'm trying to put it into your life you know already I'm rehearsed. <laughs> we're rehearsed. Uh, and we're back again with another SSC podcast. Like I said, um, this is SSC podcast uh, 108, 108th episode, man. Um, we got some, some, we got some child gaming to talk about, dude. Um, yeah. So uh, before we get into all that, I want to let the good people know what we've been playing. I know it's been a busy week for you and you, we were talking earlier you didn't get much much gaming in but can you let the good people know what you were able to play um yeah man i played a little bit of somerville on uh on game pass on xcloud and uh yeah and i watched uh i was watching uh uh specter play um what is that new game warhammer Uh, Uh, yeah so uh yeah yeah Cool, cool. Yeah, I um, I'm glad you said that because I was able to get some um, some gaming in. I was able to play some um, some Warhammer. I thought it was very interesting uh, game. I played it during the beta period, but I'm gonna get to some more of that. Play some Crisis. Had uh, had a guy by the name of Five yeah. invade my my stream during that. Um, I had a lot of fun getting my ass kicked, man. I, I suck. <laughs> That game. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Like those older games where the driving was like atrocious. Man, man, we don't know. You don't know you guys that like just started gaming like maybe five or ten years ago. You don't understand how good you have it. Like way back in those days when Crisis first came out and they, and they actually put cars that you could drive in games. Oh, it was horrible. Absolutely. Oh, horrible. yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I noticed during your stream, I was like, "Oh, you can see the reflection of the driver in the window." Yeah. Like, that's a, yeah. that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, they 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 did that. They on those remaster games, I think they did a pretty good job. I think they did a pretty good job to, um, based upon the fact that um, that game is old as dirt. Um, shoot, when did Crisis came out? Crisis came out in what, like early two thousand or something like that. Yeah, something crazy like that. And the fact that it was it was one of the most horribly optimized games, but people were like, no, it was because it was so popping in in resolution and in textures. It was just horribly optimized to where PCs back then couldn't even run it at high at its highest settings. It literally like would break PCs up until like seven years ago. Yeah, seven years. And that game came out. I'm going to look it up. That did Crisis come out? Crisis, when did... When did... Did Crisis come out? Uh, let's see. November 2007 is when Crisis come out. So I want to say all the way up to like 2017... Maybe 2018, it was still giving PCs a hard time. You know, hmm. like, can it run Crisis? That's how horribly optimized it was. I mean, don't get me wrong. Visually, that's how stunning it was visually, but it just wasn't optimized. So um, considering those two facts, I think they did a really good job on the port, um, on, the, on the remasters. And I, that's with one. I can't wait to yeah, see it what looks great. it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what, I, and, and and I play some division. For those of you that are listening to this, um, there is a division global event. So don't miss it. It's the Shiznik. It's the Golden Bullet global event, which is one of the funnest ones. But they've nerfed your capabilities in division so much and OP the enemy so much. It's tough, man. Jesus Christ. So. Oh man. Ooh, goodness. It's a hard time, but yeah, that's what I've been playing, man. So um, that's cool. At least we, could, you know, even in in busy weeks, we were able to get some stuff done. All right, man, let's hop right into it, dude. Uh, you know how we do. Let me show you something. 
I want to show you that. <laughs> All right. This is what I want to show you. I want to show you. Uh, this is clouddoses.com. It's our website. Check it out. Always got some great articles up there. Um, what I want to talk about is uh, there's. I'm going to mix up the order a little bit. Let's talk about Luna. I know we were, we were going to talk about okay. Xbox and, and GeForce yeah. Now first, but let's talk about Luna. So shout out to our good friend, Jack to slip the, who, who's pretty much running clouddoses.com. He has all the, you know, he has all the levers and the master keys over there. He's been on Amazon Luna's caboose <laughs> to say the least. He's been, and he's been upfront yeah. about it. He's like, eh, I'm, you know, my most favorite service, but it's a cloud gaming service nonetheless, and I hope it does well. And there were supposed to be like several games, one of which Kingdom of Amalur, um, Lo Fi, that I was excited about. Well, that hasn't come, and not only has a lot of those games haven't come, but like over 40 games got removed from the library. Yeah, and I just got that game for GFN too. Did you? Oh, wow. Yeah. People were in a panic. We kind of talked about this and I was like brushing it off, but looking at things now, do, do you, st do we still have the same energy that we had last week where we're like, eh, maybe they're just cutting expenses or you, you think it might, might be a little bit more serious. What do you think? <laughs> things might be a little more serious, man. <laughs> it's like, that's a lot of games. Dude. That's a lot of games. I don't know all the details, but whoa yeah i mean i don't know i don't i wouldn't say they're trying to close down maybe but yeah maybe they're just trying to stave it off i don't know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yep yeah i'm i'm with you I, that's I think, a big blow i think they're trying to cut expenses like we kind of mentioned last week there could be of those 40 games this could have been games that were very expensive to maintain and even though they look good on paper people just weren't playing them could be just people aren't playing Luna all together. And I don't think Amazon is expecting a big group of people already because they really haven't put much in the promotion and it's only in the US. But um, maybe it was like in order for us to keep slowly grinding this out, we can't keep these other games on our I would, payroll. If, if they're, I would like to see them try to restructure their subscription yeah, plan. If, I, yep. if, if, you know, if things aren't going well, I'd like to see them try that. No, I agree with you. I, I, I want to see that. We we talked often about, um, you know, I kept bringing up this idea of, I think Amazon Luna's problem is that it's just basically sitting around older games. Like when you look at everybody else, including Stadia when it was around, there were newer games that get people hyped up. You know, like this year, even for Stadium, we were hyped up for Saints Row. We were getting hyped up for the Resident Evil DLC. Dying uh, or Dead Island 2 was coming. You know what I'm saying? GFN, you know, plethora of new games coming here. Xbox, Plague's Tell Requiem, all that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but with, 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 with um, what's it called? Well, the newest, the, the, the Newest game that they had got was um, what was the, fl the the flying ship game? Um, chorus, chorus was in, de in December. It was chorus, oh, yeah. And then they got tales of something one of, one of the newer RPGs, which is dope, which is cool, you know. But and Xbox didn't get it. That threw Xbox people in an uproar. But um, that's it. That's it. So, well, I mean, you know, we talk about with Stadia, the ease of use that it had, and it's like the only other one that's that simple is uh, Amazon. You know, it's yeah. really easy to jump in and out of. It's just I have not been compelled to yeah. sign up for one of their subscriptions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I feel or I felt, I got to be honest with you. I'm, I'm you know, you, I'm giving kind of my answer too. I'm, I'm changing my energy a little bit. I felt. I only felt compelled to be grandfathered into the subscription service because I felt yeah. like at some point in time, this thing is going to skyrocket. And if I'm, if I only got to pay five ninety nine a month 
or Luna Plus, and I only gotta pay the you know pay my Ubisoft Plus subscription in order to play the cloud version. I ain't gotta pay that extra two dollars. I'm in like Flynn. But now, right, and that's just and that's just it though. It they the games are great once you're in there. It's easy to jump in. I, I think they have an, a really. I've always thought they had some. They were onto something. Yeah, but yeah, it's that subscription model they got going on. Yeah, it's just not, bro. yeah, it's not for me anyway. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's that's my problem. And people may hear that and they may say, "Well, but game, that's but, 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 but game, but even game, even Xbox knows they can't survive just off the subscription service." Hence, why they said, you know, later on this year they're going to start having a la carte purchases added to game, you know, to, to X Cloud. So. That yeah. model was always, I, I, you can't, I don't think that model was going to work unless you had a model that had heavy hitters in it. And it can't just be all Ubisoft or yeah. all Square Enix. You know what I'm saying? Like it has to be a mix. Well, I mean, yeah, it seems like you have to have, you have to be able to get people to want to subscribe to your service. And it's got to be compelling, not only just enough to get them to sign in, but to keep them there every month and then on top of it you gotta have something you can sell you gotta be able to sell me something put plus your subscription service yeah like, that, make, that makes sense yeah like with stadia you could purchase games plus you had this subscription service it's, yeah you gotta you gotta hit your customers on all fronts <laughs> yeah i I think they can, I mean, because I know amazon really wants to stick to the subscription model because that's how their cable you know their tv works I really think, but no, but even on the the TV front, you could look at individual shows and stuff like that, right? Like even when you, well, I mean, where the time. where they're smart there is like, say they close their doors, mm -hmm. they're not gonna have to do any refunds. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. That, and I and I did mention that uh, the other day that you know X X Pass. A Game Pass and X Cloud and in Luna, their subscription services at the moment with, with, with X Cloud. So yeah, the, the refunds, you know, that's not going to happen. It, you know, Luna might refund you for the controller, but you can use the controller mm. as a Bluetooth controller. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's a usable control. Yeah. Oh, they and speaking that. of that, Lo-Fi, I don't know if did you start getting hardware refunds yet? um no okay so I, I i started getting some hardware refunds right and i noticed that what they're doing with the hardware refunds is that they are not uh if you ordered a bundle pack or something you're not getting refunded for the whole bundle um, uh -oh. particular, the, particularly the plug and play bundle. So if you ordered the plug and play bundle, rather, you're only getting refunded for the controller. They're not refunding you for everything, which I couldn't get it, you know, because you can still use the, right. Mm -hmm. you, can, you, you technically just can still use the, uh, the, the Google Chromecast, but a lot of oh, people yeah. only bought it to play games on it, w whatever, you know, um, yeah but be careful Mine's, guys uh, Go ahead. currently unplugged collecting dust oh yeah <laughs> well i think the, the the ccus the original black ho hockey pucks i think they're going to refund you on those i think for premier bundles they're refunding you on those because those are discontinued those are useless i i hope they are they haven't gotten to that point yet they're just doing stuff that was refunded i mean which was purchased right. within the last few months yeah, I mean, I think the Chromecast is cool. It's just if you have a TV that already has that built in, you don't even exactly. Yeah, so like at this that point, is true. I only, I only needed it for that Stadia app. Exactly. Yeah, that that <laughs> is true. Oh, Google, Google, Google! I'm wagging my finger. You can't see it, but Google, Google, Google. Lord Jesus, I sort of hope for their sake that a group like Kotaku or whoever doesn't get a hold of this, this and the the whole play credits thing. Like, I mean, I get it. I get it, guys. Um some of you 
either have had all your money credited back to your credit card or you're you know you're you're so blessed as far as what you have access to fundage wise or whether it be that or what you get game wise that this is this doesn't matter to you but again i i'm not in this for a company i'm not in this to defend any company i'm in this for the community um because the community is what really solidified me i mean the company brought me to the product but what solidified me on the product and to promote the product was the community and i look at gamers who say you know what i'm gonna convert my cash to google play credit so i can get ten dollars off because i'm broke <laughs> you know what i mean and they got all this google play credit they can't do anything with even if they could buy other google products that'd be great but there's that and then now to low fast point i i maybe we, we only bought the plug and play bundle to play stadia don't just assume because it has other functionality that I, I i want i still want it or need it no so i'm noticing that i'm noticing that so be be be, be on the lookout and and here's the crazy thing too lo-fi which if I, I don't understand how they're doing the arithmetic on this process um but like okay so i'll give you an example plug and play bundle the 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 chrome i mean the 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 chromecast with google tv that was like $50 out of the bundle. And then the controller was $70 out of the bundle, right? And then you would, you know, if you got the bundle, you would get 20 off. Well, they first started giving you the price differential correctly with the controller. They were giving you like $75 for the controller. But now I'm starting to notice that they're taking that $20 discount and applying it to the controller so you're only getting like 40 something back for the controller <laughs> yeah. like, what the hell is going on here like this is i told crazy. you i told you even if it's i mean i don't know somebody can always sit back and go well that's fair it's like no yeah anything I is fair. fair about it and, you know anything is fair anybody can argue that something is fair but it's just the whole practice of it. Like, come on, man. Again, you targeted disenfranchised gamers. You told them we're for you. Just give them the money back. And I'm not saying this for me because I'm getting, yeah, someone like me, I'm getting refunded back on stuff that I bought for other people who won our raffles. That's, that's different. You know what I mean? Especially if it's just play credits because it's going to get spent on their platform I, anyway. I know. Yeah. Just let them. That's the thing that's killing me is let people do it. I mean, shout out to the scientists. He found an app that will allow you to convert it to cash, but you got to spend 44% of, 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 of what you got in order to get it converted over. I, I just, I don't like the feel of this. I, I really hope that someone like Kotaku or somebody else don't get a hold of this because it's going gonna, it's gonna to look real nasty. It's going to look real nasty, but... Anyway, I just I thought that was interesting to thought there because of what we were what we were talking about as far as refunds. But um, yeah, any final thoughts on on Luna, man? Like, do you really think they're in trouble or or you know? Let, well, I'll, I'll, let, let me throw it to you like this. Shout out to Dusty Iran. Um, let me see if Dusty is in the chat right now. Dusty is here. He says, uh, "Okay, yeah, Dusty is here." Shout out to Dusty Iran. He put out a great comment yesterday on the show and he said look man i canceled ubisoft plus until we found out what's going on with amazon which i thought was was a great discussion point what do you think about that you think that that should be that that's a fathomable approach for all for, for games yeah. to take yeah yeah yep. because i've been hearing a rumor that and i i mean maybe it's not a rumor i don't know but <laughs> uh that game pass is gonna have ubisoft plus for free anyway just like how they have EA. Oh, now I, I don't know about that. I heard well no no. They announced that Ubisoft Plus is gonna be added to the service. It's gonna be separate from Game Pass. So it's not gonna be part of Game Pass. So you gotta get like either or. Got you. Yeah, but either way, it's like you got another place to play it. But um, true. No, I 
it's like i hope the best for luna it's just cloud's expensive and right now the economy is not it's just not there for it yeah man um like it's not it's uh it's hard to make it profitable you know you gotta have the right situation you gotta have the right situation and you gotta be plugged into the gaming community in just the right way yep i just i i think if you're gonna have that channel method you got to have some heavy hitters in the channel and i'm and i think you it, well, it, look at boosteroid yeah 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 but yeah but they let you they let you they let you approach games a la carte if you're going to do a subscription yeah th- thing you got to look at look at that's game that's what i'm saying for for some for a small oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just to come in and, and compete yeah doing phenomenal i'm really surprised but, but see, Booster Boy kind of isn't a platform. It's giving you a PC rig in the sky. Kind of like how GF right. is, but they're taking it the shadow approach. So they're a more accessible shadow. You know what I mean? In so many ways yeah. that that's working towards having the performance of GFN. You know, they're like giving you the best of both worlds. Files and stuff, I yeah. Yeah. They're giving you the best of both worlds, which is awesome. And I can't wait to see that, you know, that, that new tier, you know, the, the 240 Hertz 4k tier. My God. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm a little surprised that Luna only has Ubisoft plus channel as far as a publisher's channel is concerned. Um, and I'm also surprised that they haven't said look we got to come up with a premium channel even if there's only 10 games in here these need to be the 10 hottest games out right now and we're going to charge 20 22.99 for the, you know what i'm saying like something like that i think i think people would pay 22 dollars a month maybe even a little bit more to have 10 games 10 of the hottest games to play on the cloud well, you ain't got to buy a console. Hell, Gamefly only ships you two games for $25.99 a month. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I, I don't know, but yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's just, it depends on what pitch you, man. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. yeah. And that's hard. That's hard. There's so many types of gamers. So it's like, I couldn't tell. I couldn't put my finger exactly on what Luna needs to do with their subscription, but yeah, that subscription it's, it's just... definitely, it's not this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That subscription model. I mean, not, not to, not to come down hard on them or nothing, but I'm yeah. just saying, maybe shake it up. Yep. No, I agree. I agree, dude. This, this is, this is not, not what people were expecting. All right. Um, I guess we could talk about, uh xbox uh x cloud and gfn getting uh um uh, getting uh what's it called but before we do that i just i missed this article shout out to fabled alpaca of uh uh cloud dosage so x cloud game gaming will lose 10 more games this December. So let's take a look at what those 10 games are. Aliens, Fireteam Elite, Bre- Breathridge. Oh, and that's a good one. Oh, for Breath real. Edge oh, is good. Man, that's interesting. Yeah. Dragon Quest 11. Ooh, Firewatch. Lake. One Piece Pirate Warriors. Neoverse. Race with Ryan. Record of Lotus War. Oh, man. Uh, Roy, yeah, Roy McElroy PGA Tour and Transformers Battlegrounds. Uh, it says this is your last chance to play them before they leave Game Pass this month, this month of December. Uh, or if you have a if you have a console or play on PC, you can save up to twenty percent on purchases. Um, wow. Yeah, uh, looks like Xbox might just be cleaning just a little bit of house too. This this. This um this trillion dollar tech bubble or whatever you want to call it, it's it's a it's a mammy jammy, man. What do you think about it? It's causing everybody to drop everything. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's been shaking things up. I, you, you don't you don't really know what's gonna happen. Jeez, yeah. I mean, it's not like they're dropping, they're cutting Halo. <laughs> like they didn't cut Halo, in it. right? Yeah, but I, I'm just saying, golly. Um, but I mean, uh, games leave Game Pass every month, so it's yeah, I get yeah. it. True. I um, but that's why I don't like the subscription model only because i i don't mind written games that i'm on the fence about but i'm a different type of game i know what i want to play like i'm not one of those games like oh give me give me i'm not like the cookie monster and you know like at a buffet like give me something give me give me give me give me i don't i don't need to try everything anymore i know what i want to play i know what i'm interested in some games i might be on the fence on but it's very rare like oh i don't know if i want to play that um, so the subscription model really ain't for me. Just give me access to what I want to play and let me play it. And I'll make my mind up if it's a good game or not once I play it. Um, but again, it's kind of like falls into our last conversation. This is why um, Game Pass kind of gets it and they're going to be adding all the car purchases and hopefully Luna maybe can do the same thing or just come up with a banner, better channel with more sought after games. You know what I mean? Cause I don't know, man. Right. It's, it's going to be a hard tech bubble to, to surpass. I mean, you saw what Google did. <laughs> they, they, they cast a check supposedly and said, we're out. Um, I don't know. Let's see, but to continue on, let's talk about, all right, so we, speaking of Game Pass, Game Pass and uh, GFN both got Battlefield 2042. And I don't I don't know, Lo-Fi, if you were uh, a stadium back in this time, but, okay, so in 2020, we got surprised with Cyberpunk 2077. I remember it was a big thing in the community Oh my God, Cyberpunk ain't coming day and date. And I and I made a big fuss out of it too because there was some wording that was being used that was ambiguous on purpose because um, they didn't want to commit in case they had to push it back a little bit. But in all likelihood, it was coming out day and date. So a lot of us didn't think it was coming day and date. Around August or July, I was like, nah, I think it's coming day and date and it ended up coming day and date. So that was the big surprise for Stadia gamers is when that game came day and date. And that was a big boost to Stadia, who really up until then wasn't getting any attention. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And it, it, it kind of boosted the platform. Um, in 2021, we, we were looking for the same thing because you know, platforms get into a rhythm. They do things routine. And we thought that there was going to be another big game. And we thought that big game was going to be Battlefield 2042 because that was the big game of 2021. And we thought that was coming to Stadia. Wrong. That wasn't, that didn't come. Um, and then people, and then there was the deal that EA struck with GFN. They, they got back on board and they slowly but surely started bringing games back to GFN after in 2020, they removed everything from the platform. And people were wondering when this game was coming. Well, now it's here, man. Well, it was on Xbox first and, it was, and now it's on GFN. So let me ask you a question. I want to do this. Well, let's, let's do an exercise. I didn't even warn you about this first, but because I, I felt that your raw reaction to this would be the most entertaining. We're going to do a little, we're gonna do a little skit here. Or not a little skit. We're going to play a little exercise here. Okay. You're going to convince... I mean, we're going to talk to an imaginary person on the other end of this mic. And I need you as someone who regularly plays xCloud to convince them why they'd rather play Battlefield on xCloud and I'm going to do it for GFN. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so you guys, so okay. you're like, you know, we're in the courtroom or whatever. So, well, so again, convince the other person on this mic why, you know, Battlefield for them is better. Since I haven't played the game yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's why I didn't tell you. But, but <laughs> but you should totally play this game on xCloud because uh, not only are you going to have access to Battlefield but you're going to have access to all the other hot 
titles on Xbox and uh, all your friends are going to be playing those games and you'll be able to easily get them into your Battlefield game because they're all going to be on Xbox anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I do how I do my co-host? I set him up. <laughs> I set him up. He's like that because I, I, I was he, but he don't realize and see, I was, you know, I slid it in when we were talking uh, earlier before the show. I was like, um, so have you played Battlefield? He's like, no, I ain't got a chance to play it yet. I was like, yeah, I got him. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but without him knowing that I was going to do this to him. Um, yeah, so for me, if you're going to play, um, oh, what's going on here? I'm trying to. I'm, oh, okay, there we go. I had to change something because it's still says Stadia Dosage. And those were the good old days, but uh, it's not Stadia Dosage anymore. It's Cloud Dosage. I didn't even realize that after almost two months. Anywho, now we fixed that on the screen. So here's my thing. If you are a gamer who wants to experience Battlefield, see what it's about. Then my co-host, my, my astute co-host, Lo-Fi, was, is absolutely right. Friends are going to be there. You get to play with your friends. You get to go, oh, I got shot in the face. Oh, I was running. Can't see where I'm going because it looks like oatmeal. But yeah, but I'm having fun. But if you want to be competitive, if you want to kick, mm. kick ass, and you want to be able to see yeah. for long draw distances with RTX on, you know, ray tracing, that is. Mm. All that stuff. Yeah. Low latency, low lag. Then you gotta pay. I mean, you gotta play it on GFN. Oh, if you want that resolution and you want that frame rate? Yeah. yeah. You gotta play it. Now, I'm not gonna mention yeah. the fact that on xCloud, it's free. <laughs> I mean, it's free with the subscription. <laughs> and on GFN, you gotta pay the, at least the $20. I'm gonna mention that. But, right. uh... Right, right, right. That was a fun exercise. I know a lot of people listen to this. Oh man, the, this is the console war all over again in M two K. Zip it. Just having a little fun. Nothing it was nothing serious. We just just trying to trying to create comparisons for the two for different people that may be on the fence that may have both. I, I do think. I mean, you no, think that's, that's a fair fair comparison? Yeah, e easy. Yeah. Mm. That, was, that was good. That was fun. Yeah, I mean, either way it goes, if you're playing a game and you want to play it, you're not going wrong, you know, and um, xCloud does make it more accessible because, again, if you if you're paying the fifteen dollars a month to play it, there you go. Um, I know a lot of people like to be competitive in, in these type of games and it is a free weekend. So you can try it on GFN and, and see if if it's worth ponying up that extra money for it to pay, pay for it. You know what I mean? Um, after this free weekend, yeah. but you can play it fr free in both places as long as you have access to GFN and you have access to xCloud. So awesome. Sanchez Gaming in the house. Good to see you, my good friend. Uh, let's get some of these comments in here before we go to our last topic. Uh, let's see here. I thought I had, did I have this set up social? Nope, I sure didn't. I sure didn't. Let's get this set up because. They were just blowing it up in our chat and without the members. And again, oh yeah. Oh, crap. I knew there was something I was supposed to do. I'm going to do it on Monday, y'all. My apologies. Uh, I was supposed to draw the winner of the $50 raffle ticket. I'll, I'll either do it Sunday or Monday. I didn't, I didn't pin everybody's name to the will. I'm sorry. We'll do that Sunday or Monday. Um... But yeah, what we did again as a reminder is that if you are a member, not only do you get to be part of this live taping, but you get your name put in for our raffle for $50 gift certificate to your platform of choice. And what we did is if you, what we added tickets, depending upon how long you, were, you stayed subscribed as we were going through the rebranding and everything, just to show our appreciation. So your last day to participate was the 30th. We're gonna have raffles every month. Like there's gonna be another $50 raffle for this month too. But 
for this one that we're about to do we added a, a bunch of extra tickets for those that were you know still faithful so we appreciate y'all because without your support we can't do this that being said we're, i'm gonna do it on monday i'm gonna do it on monday i deeply apologize i forgot all about that i had a very bad morning if y'all can forgive me <laughs> all right let's get to these comments man let's see here uh so oh they didn't pop up yet but uh we got sanchez he says yo mm2k way to mm2k laugh on way to go <laughs> <laughs> oh i know say hey look shout out to sanchez low five he had sanchez had one he was waiting yeah. for the premiere bundles from us and it took me forever to get it to him like i had to ship out like three of them because for some reason they weren't getting to him yeah so but shout out to sanchez for his patience i'm just waiting for yeah uh, what else we got up here uh that's your answer's damn he says supposedly you can use google play credit can be used on some non-google subscriptions that is true like if you buy like hulu there goes the comments if you go buy hulu or something like that off of google play oh yeah. You, yeah yeah you know like i used it for uh i got uh the hbo max still for it was like a dollar 99 for three months and i used my play credits for that <laughs> ah okay yeah well, there you have it. So you could do like, so yeah, if you want to, if you use like Hulu live, which is Jesus Christ, that thing is like $80. Now I remember when I first signed up for it, it was like $48. Now, and, and that was a year ago. Now it, it, in a year's time, it went from $48 to $80. Um, but if you use subscription services like that, Go ahead and sign up, you know, get the app, go get the app and sign up through Google and use your play credit there. Um, yeah, make it to some use, you know what I'm saying? Make it useful to you somehow. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people got a lot of it, so. All right, cool, 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 awesome stuff. Um, okay, our last, for our last topic, uh, I wanna put this on the screen. This is a booster roid. Yes, the controversial booster roid, roid, roid. Um, <laughs> got a new game, man. They got Spider Man Miles Morales. Did you ever think that you would be playing Spider Man Miles Morales in the cloud other than PlayStation? What do you think about that, uh, lo fi that uh, Booster Roy got Spider Man Miles Morales? No, oh, yeah, that's. That's crazy. To be honest, I was like, kind of like, what? Like, I saw a uh, vet playing it, and I was like, yeah. Okay. That's real shocking to see, <laughs> see it anywhere other than PlayStation. You know what's really shocking, too? Is that, um, and at this time, I, I wasn't to, I wasn't as, as fond of the service as I am now, and that's GFN. Uh, but remember when GFN got God of War for like three minutes, three and a half minutes, <laughs> three and a half minutes. Yeah. And we, we you know, we, we were, we were kind of clowning a little bit. Uh, yeah. Now I'm sad because of that. <laughs> because I would love to play Miles Morales, um, at 4k. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. With the potential of 120 yeah, frames per second of 440p. Yeah. Um, I really don't know why they don't. Mm. Yeah, I think it's again. I think in, 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 in our interview, I think it's because they're doing like a hybrid of like GFN as far as performance, but as far as the delivery system, they're they're doing what Shadow does because you know Shadow gets every PC game except for what Call of Duty and and uh, World of Warcraft, right? I think those are the only two that Shadows yeah. get. You know what I mean? And Shadows legit. Uh, so wow, it's amazing stuff, man. Um, you you're not really big on 4K, right? You're not a big 4K person. No, no. Mm -hmm. So, okay. nah, I just want to be able to play the game and yeah, play it smoothly. Um, so I but guess I understand people that are because like it's like I don't know. I I, I get it though. It's all about immersion. I mean, the people that I talk to that use Booster Roy, they love it. They love it. Yeah. And I'm not. And I'm not even yeah. including vetting that. That you know. Vet, you know. 
vet vet can show vet, vet streams it all the time, but I'm not even including vet in that conversation. I'm saying like people like when I think I anybody it, I've talked to that's actually used it, they've got nothing but good to say. Good stuff it. to say about it. Yeah, exactly. So that's awesome, man. Jesus, keep getting the games. And they got Evil West. I mean, they just keep getting the damn games, man. Mm. Woo. Yeah. The they man. have been the whole time. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Dusty Rand says, is there any other PS games on Boosteroid? Um, isn't Horizon? I think Horizon Zero Dawn is on there. I don't think God of War is on there. I could be wrong about that. I don't think God of War is on there, but I think Horizon, I, I'm pretty sure Horizon Zero Dawn is on there. And um, Spider-Man Miles Morales is on there. And the, and the uh, original Spider-Man is on there too. Yeah, they got a lot of shocking. Yeah, titles on there. yeah, they do. Yeah, Elden Ring's on there. Yep, yep. Um, oh yeah, Elden Ring is on there. I know that's crazy, and um, it's just it's what it is, man. Uh, we got a great comment from Sanchez. As soon as it looks, oh, okay, he says Sony should sell their older games on other cloud platforms or PC would bring more revenue been wanting to play Ghost of Tsushima. What do you think about that? No, I think that'd be smart because yeah. then it intrigues people to what are y'all doing over there on your platform? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if it's if it if this game's a skid, what do you have that's not over here? Yeah. I think a lot of people I think PlayStation doesn't take advantage of that as much because of their fanboys. Their fanboys would lose their lunch. Oh, you got to have the console in order to enjoy PlayStation game. I never got that argument. I If the game is made by the company that I favor, I care where they sell the damn thing. As long as it's great and it sells well, that's more money for them to make more games that I like. I never, I never got that. I never got that. I can understand some people being concerned about games being watered down in a subscription service uh but that's not what sony's doing sony's just looking to sell their games on more platforms so the more the merrier to me you know what i mean so i don't know yeah exactly but yeah great stuff booster Roy, man keep it up uh and i can't wait to see how you guys continue to build in the future all right with that said, that gets us close to the 45 minute mark exactly. Um, and that's the end of the show, man. So low five, you can do everybody a huge favor, good brother, and let everybody know uh where mm-hmm. they can find you at. That'd be great. Oh, you can find me uh on YouTube at Low Five Monk and uh also on YouTube at uh, Cloud Gaming TV. Cool, cool. Yeah, man. Check out that Cloud Gaming TV. Definitely. I got to get a link to that and put that in the description. Make sure you, you, I, I get that. Uh, oh, I don't forget it. I, I have it already. Um, yeah, cause we, you, you definitely gonna want to check that out and there will be some collaborations. I will not say anything else right now. Keep your mouth shut, but look out for the <laughs> All right. And, uh, you guys know where to find me, find me at, uh, here cloud dosage. You can also find me in two other special places. You can find me over at um, Hard Knock Digital Culture. That's 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 our sailor mouth platform over there on Twitch, where we just we we you know we need a censor over there because we go crazy about video games, anime, and uh, martial arts. So check us out over there. Also check me out on MM2K Gaming where we're going to be chopping it up with some more God of War. I want to get a God of War 1440p stream and a God of War 4K stream out there. So pay close attention to at MM2K Gaming on YouTube. Um, so if you want to see us on Twitch, it's uh, my, it's twitch.tv forward slash MightyMost2000 or you can just go to HNDC dot live for hard knock digital culture. Go to HNDC dot live. It'll take you there as well. You can see live or live streams and you can help donate to the cause that's it people we appreciate everybody thank you so much for coming through until next time have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace